everyone, welcome to Learning and Lore. This is our first video. It's our unboxing video for our um, our science curriculum for this year. It is 2018, 2017. We just finished the first book in this series. Oh, I think we have a delivery. <gasps> oh, it's a cat. I guess they forgot to give us this. Hi, kitty. Hello. So I guess cat is going to be joining us. Thank you so much for that delivery. So um, we finished volume one, which I'm going to do a review video for. And it talked about zoology and all the different animals and different biomes. And it was really fun. Um, this is a living book series. And there's other books included throughout um, or, or suggestions of books, of living books, picture books that you can check out to go with whatever um, animal or whatever unit you're going to be doing. And then they also recommend encyclopedias. So I'm going to give you a, just a quick look through so you can see what it looks like. So this is delivery. the volume. It's in a chapter book style. Delivery. Oh, here's another delivery. So my kids are really excited about They love delivery day. What's in here? Oh, a dog! Oh, hi! Hi, guys! Thank you so much for all these presents. <laughs> so, um, it's in a picture book style. I mean, in a chapter book style. So, um, you can just read it with your child. And it's divided into um, chapters. So, if you have a child that's not really interested in science, or if you're just starting to look into science, and um, I, I really love this curriculum for the early... Um, early elementary years because um, it makes it into a continuous story and it ties all the different um, subjects together so um, for instance here we have chapters two to three go over Larry Snowflake um, and it introduces different characters different um, experts so I really love that it um, lets the child know that science is really an adventure and um, different people are going to be coming into their life bringing in that science adventure not only relying on books but um going to museums and different places different classes and all those kinds of experts are going to be showing up in their life in the same way that it's showing up for blaine and tracy blaine and tracy are the main characters in this book so let me get to one of the first chapters let me see if we, okay so chapter three we have the catacombs then it has this little bold print up in the top so we usually go from one bold print so blocks and bones up to the next bold print so let me find it nope. Nope. this one's a little long so here we have the data and then they they would enter this into their side app book which is right over here and um we'll get to that in a minute so then i would write read from that bold print that we saw in the front up to here so be, just before jumping joints so um, we found that that's a good rhythm for us we usually do this in the morning right after we do our devotional and um, after we do our history so um, it's really great they, they, they usually sit around they draw they color they play with play-doh or they play with their toys and they just listen into the story it's just a really nice um, chapter book style story so it took us to, um, about two about two months i want to say two two or two and a half months to get through the first volume and i expect about the same thing for this one so we'll probably cover this in the winter and then we'll go into volume three i expect starting in the spring um so we're just going to be going straight through these because it's so easy and it feels so um natural and just very um not very tedious to get through so we're we're really enjoying this and um there's different ways to beef it up that i'm going to go over so this is the side at log book and what i'm going to be doing is um for the first one i filled it out because it was our first time doing this curriculum but now for this second volume each child is going to have a notebook and they're going to be filling this out after we finish our lesson um so what I'm planning to do is, is to put some lines in here so that way it's easier for them to print. Or I, I'm really not sure. Maybe for the first few lessons we'll play it by ear, we'll experiment. And then once I do a review video at the end of us using this curriculum, um, I'll let you guys know what worked best and what kind of things we played around with. So this is what that looks like. So each child gets one of these. And this is Blaine and Tracy. So this is Tracy, this is Blaine. And they have a phone that they put all of their data in so they're on vacation with their uncle Cecile and they really don't science. like but um, uncle Cecile is is a scientist and he created this really cool um, 
thing for them to do over the summer and they get to zip line through these invisible zip lines which you kind of can see here and um they have parachutes so that way they can land where safely wherever it is that they're going to be venturing next and um once they're there their responsibility is to log in the information for whatever animal or whatever topic they're studying about inside their logbook in their phone and um at the end of their summer then they send all that data and then they get to go back home so um they're really excited about this and they are um, unexpectedly really enjoying science and it's a really fun way to um see how science comes alive and how integral integral it is um as a part of our life and i love that it's a brother and sister and they get to really uh, make a lot of different discoveries um spontaneously and they they just learn so much so um my children really love this and um so this is their version of that log book okay and then this is my teacher's manual so this program is by Paige hudson and in here we have all the lessons Usually I get to cover a lesson in two days. I think they span it within five days, but um, I found that within one to two days, I cover most of it. Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna be the case for the anatomy. That was the case for the zoology. Um, so then over here we have the encyclopedia readings. Um, I purchased the DK First Human Body Encyclopedia and the Kingfisher Science Encyclopedia. I couldn't find the eyewitness human body one and the first one seemed a little bit um, too young for my children. My children are seven and nine. So um, we're gonna see how those two encyclopedias work out. And if not, I'll probably order that third one, the human body one, um, but I couldn't find it. So that's what we're gonna be starting with. So then there's, and then right underneath, you see that there's additional living books that you can either get from the library or you can order them. Um, we did cover the uh, the human body for my daughter for kindergarten. Um, I created a like a DIY, uh, science curriculum for her so I have a lot of books about the human body so as I go along if I feel like I need extra things then I'll add them in but for the most part I'm gonna be relying on the encyclopedias and whatever I have here and maybe um, visiting the block visiting the library and seeing whatever they have in stock that they might want to pick and having her choose what she wants to read that goes with what we're learning about um, then over here it tells you what's gonna be in the notebooking part of the side at <clears throat> of the side at log book. Excuse me, I just lost my spot. Where was I? Okay, so it shows you what's in that um, part of the notebook and what you're gonna be doing and it tells you some facts about the system. And this is this part is usually what I ask in oral nar narration, so I'll, I'll, I'll ask them. What do you guys remember about the story what do you remember about what we read about in the encyclopedia and how can we uh form a complete sentence and put that in our log book so it's a great way for them to also practice um their narration their um skills and in, in putting words together coherently their verbal skills so i really really love this part and this um this curriculum is a little bit classical based um which i really like because i do like the classical approach and we do dabble in that then over here we have an anatomy recording sheet and there are some sheets in the back there is okay right here in the appendix there are some extra sheets that you can use to print out and to add to the notebook so i'll probably unbind this logbook and then have make copies of these and have one for each child so that's what i'm planning to do see how cool and then all the way in the back there are quizzes so if you do want to um, provide some test taking skills for your children if you have an older child you can do that and the te the um, quizzes are really gentle and it's just a way to um, see what they retained um, we didn't use these for the volume one that we just finished but I am planning to add some of this maybe at the end of the week after we've covered uh, a few units just to see what they remember I think that'll be nice a really nice review to refresh their memory and to help with um, repetition and retention so I really like that um, so let me see so okay so after that see there's a few more facts they really provide a lot of information um, and they summarize it and then at the very end they have a science demonstration so they have like a science um, suggestion they have vocabulary so if you wanted to write that on a dry erase board or put it on a 
postcard and then go over that and add it to maybe a vocabulary bank you can or, or maybe turn those into spelling words which is really nice and then over here after the science experiment that they recommend which is really gentle and last um for the last book we didn't do many of those but i'm really looking forward to adding some of those for this volume and then they also have some hyperlinks for the um for the experiment so we're going to be doing some dissections which is really cool and they have the uh resources where you can find the things and then we have memorization so they have a copy work sentence and a dictation se um, se selection um i've just used these as a just a sentence that they repeat back or i'll end the, the you know end the lesson with just saying oh the heart pumps blood around the body it beats over two billion two billion times in a lifetime without stopping and that'll be the end of the lesson so um as far as the dissection goes i'm gonna be playing it by ear we might be doing some fruit and vegetable dissections versus um real ones because we we are vegan and um it just doesn't really fit into our lifestyle so um but i am planning to maybe do, use maybe like a tomato a watermelon or other things to simulate these kinds of dissections so i'll probably share that on my instagram or um in my final review video of this so so this is the encyclopedia that we got to go with the curriculum the first human body encyclopedia i got this from amazon prime because we finished volume one pretty quickly and i wanted to um just go right in to volume two and not miss a beat so uh i'm really excited about this as you can see it's very age appropriate um i'm gonna leave these books laying around we have a a, a basket let me just grab it really quick so i can show you we have this basket that's right by our couch and I put all the books in there and I encourage my kids if they want to pick this up when they're having some downtime or if they have a question or they just want to look at something they can and it's easy enough where it's scripted for maybe a third grade reading level so my you know second or third grade reading level so my so my son not my husband my son he can just come in here and read it he can read it to my daughter my daughter can try to sound out some of the words identify some of the things and it's really beautifully illustrated yeah. so and then we have the kingfisher science encyclopedia it's a really thick book um this is the fourth edition and this is more of a textbook and it's a little bit more um in depth it's more of a fifth grade reading level just by glancing it, glancing at it, um, I just unboxed it, so I haven't really looked at it or read it. But it has a lot of information, weather forecasting, different things, and whatever that we're going to be um, extrapolating from this book is provided in the teacher's guide. So um, some of these things we might not get into, but it's a great thing to have. And then at the end, when we're done doing um, the curriculum they they can go in here and, and let's say that if they looked at something that they wanted to read up on they go ahead and they can read up on it and this is just a great reference um book so i've really come to really love all of the encyclopedia selections that they've recommended so um i feel like kingfisher really provides really great materials i've really loved all of their encyclopedias so far so i'm really excited to read this with them and to learn uh, right alongside with um right alongside with them so I hope that you you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Please like this video, share it with anyone that might be looking for a living books, um, relaxed, really um, fun, engaging science curriculum to really help your kids develop that love for science and to um, really feel like you're not doing so much a science curriculum, but you're just having a really fun time hearing this, hearing about this adventure, reading great books and you know doing some learning while you're while you're doing it so um i hope that you're having an amazing day and i'll see you guys soon bye